From the cheese we have to talk about around the Cardinal community to the hot topics of today. It's Buenos Dias UIW and it starts right now. Good morning, my Good friend. Good morning. Oh What's my going on? God, I am so excited. Oh, I am so excited. Nathan, how are you? Super good. I'm super excited. <laughs> this is our first live show of Buenos Dias UIW. So let's get into the team. Yes. Well, congratulations, first y'all. This is y'all's first show. I'm yeah. very proud. Give yourself a round of applause. Super excited. Super excited. Super if excited. If y'all recognize her already, it's the beautiful and talented oh. Bernadette Salazar. Yeah. I'm like, it is I. It is me. <laughs> It's the truth. I'm here. Here. Girl, Ooh. thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having this me. This is a huge thing. I'm crying. Oh. This is a huge <laughs> is. thing for you to be our first host. I know. Uh, for those of y'all that do not know, we have literally been like the closest friends since like freshman sophomore year. Like literally, we've all we've been through it together, and we're getting through it together. So we've been period. Through it. We've been through <laughs> it, and we're getting through it still. But I'm so excited for you guys. Oh my gosh! Congratulations, Ricky and Nathan. Y'all are gonna kill this. Thank you, girlfriend. Yeah. So let's jump right in. So how have you been this whole time? I know we haven't seen you in a while. I know. I know we haven't seen you in front of the cameras I either. Know. You know. You've been living very DL. I have on the down low. You already know getting my life together type yeah, of thing. So yes. how's everything? How's life? How's the pandemic treating you? How are your studies? Tell us all. So life is wild, right? Life is crazy. I am on a journey right now. Honestly, I feel like I have been telling people this all the time but I'm literally on like just a self love journey. That's what COVID did for me. COVID taught me to literally just focus more on myself. And at first I was like, okay, that means like diving into school or diving into my businesses. And yes, while those things are important, I stress so much like self love is just about finding who you are again, falling in love with yourself again. What are your needs? What are your wants? And that's what I've been doing. And with that, when you focus on yourself, everything will fall into place. The school will come, the opportunities will open, the people will come into your life that's mm -hmm. supposed to be there. So now I'm at a place in my life where I'm like, let's grind, let's go, let's time manage, and let's be on top of the world because graduation is around the corner. So we have Agreed. to get ready for that. Wow. Yes, I'm Agreed. so excited. Right? So on top of everything you have already going on, girlfriend, how okay. are you managing your stress? Oh I gosh. see you're micromanaging your own businesses online to being a social media mogul yeah. to being a full-time student, <laughs> nice. not to mention the pre-law program. So girlfriend, like, how are you managing stress? Oh my gosh. Stress is one of the hardest things. We all know this. We all suffer. Stress is literally one of the hardest things, I think, to manage. But recently it has been a lot about prioritizing myself and prioritizing time management and also mm -hmm. i've talked about this with nathan several times too not spreading myself so thin i think i'm somebody who i'm a very social person i'm like oh, i want to be in everything do everything and it's like 100 percent. that's mm -hmm. okay as long as you know okay what's my priority today what's my priority tomorrow and you can't do a thousand things in one day it's not possible so i'm learning to be more realistic with the things that i'm doing and practicing self-care taking time for myself every single day doing personal development working out doing things that make me feel better because i'm telling you when you focus on you you will grow. The right things will come around you. Where you're meant to be, you will fall in that place. So I am focusing a lot on time management. Google Calendar, like I said, if y'all don't use Google Calendar, use it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I used to write down on planners all the time, but for me, I'm not like, I don't know, I can't do the whole writing stuff. I like to just get the alerts. I'm like, okay, reminder, you have this. Well, she's digital. She's I'm digital. the digital, no, right? The digital Period. Girl. The social media is coming that way. Yeah, so time management is super important and prioritizing what's important and making sure that you take time for you. Like every single day, take yeah. time for yourself. That's so important. Yes. How have you guys been, though? How's life been treating y'all? You know, finals coming around the corner, the holidays, it's just super rush, rush, and get stuff done. Period. <laughs> right? You're like, let's just do it. Let's get to it. The holidays are here. Yeah. How have you been, Ricardo, our classes? You know, I've been surviving. Period. <laughs> how do we all? Hey, I think we're pat all yourself surviving. on the back for that. Yes. yes. No, I think we're all surviving at this point. I think also at the point, oh my God, that's my producer calling me right now. I have a meeting after this. See? Look but at you this. See? You see stuff how in here. Yes. Um, oh my gosh, that's wild. You know, and and I one of the projects that I've been dying to get started with was this. Yes. I think I wouldn't have made it through the pandemic, through my studies, if it weren't for this 
this platform right here. You know wow, what I mean? Yeah. Is uh, this project has taken up to so much time and planning and everything. We just want to make sure we utilize our creative skills mm. and not just our creative skills, but to give a platform to guests like you yeah. who have a lot to offer to the Cardinal community. Oh, so thanks. that's yes. what gets me, you know, through what we're going. Through. Oh, you, know you what I always mean? have to have something that like look forward to, something that you're working towards. And now you're here. And this is literally amazing. Like I'm so, like I said, I will, so glad you guys had me on the show. This is amazing. I'm so proud of y'all, both of you. So Bernie, mm -hmm. um, with the Pre-Law Society, tell us more about how kids can get involved here at UIW. Yes, please. We heard you're in the Pre-Law pre -law. Program. Let's talk Pre-Law. Oh, my law so daddies out there. Talk pre -law. Let's talk about this. Yes. So Pre-Law, how we can get involved, first mm -hmm. of all. So I was mentioning this before. I think I mentioned to several students as well in the past. But right now, Pre-Law has kind of been going through it to like a lot of organizations because of COVID. It's been kind of like mm -hmm. inactive. <laughs> so it's been very difficult to kind of get our name on the map type of thing since probably literally since pre-COVID, because pre-COVID it was like rolling and then COVID hit and it was like, okay, what do we do? So last year I was the vice president and then last semester, I'm sorry, like two semesters ago I was the vice president, last semester I was the interim president. And so in this semester I'm the social chairman and we kind of don't really even have things going on right now. So I'm saying like, this is the perfect time if you were interested in joining, hit me up. My Instagram will be posted somewhere. We'll figure that out, God. but <laughs> hit me up. Uh, because we are taking new members for the next semester and so right. elections are also yes and elections are also going to be coming up as well because we really like I said we didn't have a game plan really the first couple like last year and the year before because of COVID it just got s literally scattered mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah I so heard you're running though oh so tell us a little yes. bit about that now tea. that's some cheese <laughs> let me tell so you so we heard through the blogs <laughs> that you <laughs> through the grapevine that you are running yes for office in the pre-law program yes. or club or clarify that so what what is happening there so let me tell what's you the, the drama let me who are your competitors Ooh, let me tell you the <laughs> so i think i'm the first to officially like announce that i'm running for president so i'm running for president pre-law everybody out there vote for me poor for four oh yes y'all so. already know i'm here to bring the fire I just really want it to be a good year. I feel like not just because it's my senior year, like I'm not even just doing it for me. It's really about the members. Like mm -hmm. it's really what I want it to be about. And, like this semester, I'm not going to lie, it was horrible. Like we literally didn't do, we still haven't had a general meeting yet. Like there's a lot that hasn't happened and it's like nobody's fault. I think it's just like it's been chaotic. So it's yes. like this next semester, we really want to hit the ground running. And that way, whenever they do come in the spring, like the first week of classes when they start, we hit the ground running and we like we have events going on we have a general meeting planned already we're going to have you know ut law day is going to be set up texas really? state's going to yes texas tech texas state and st mary's where i'm talking with them as we speak as well as a and m uh texas a and m they have a law school now too so we're going to be talking to them getting everything going but it is true i'll be ready for president i think i just really want it to be it's literally for the students and i'm like we have been inactive for the past year and a half pretty much and mm -hmm. now it's like it's time that we we, we get on our stuff now it's time that we get Go in, we get the pre-law running. And I always say, even if you're not interested in being an attorney or if you have just like a little interest in pre-law, it will open so many doors for you. You both know this, you know this as well, mm -hmm. Ricardo. Like it will open so many doors just from even going to the UT Law Day. You meet lawyers, but you meet like real estate moguls. You're gonna meet business people. There's yeah, so many- connections are such- Connections, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. percent I'm excited. Let me just interject here and, and agree with her point in that saying, no matter what club or organization you join here at University of the Incarnate Word, it's best you join something. The reason being, you're not going to make friends, network, grow ties with anybody else mm -hmm. if you're not in a club. Yes. You know, so definitely, this is why I bring Bernadette on and give her this platform because she has a club and she would love to have members who share the same interests of pre-law and yes. to have your club grow in a sense, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. And so yeah. says, you, I honestly would think it'd be best to have a lot of these organizations here on Buenos Dias UIW and offer them a platform to voice out their club and what they stand for. With that said, I think it's very important that you have pre-law here because mm -hmm. the law is ever changing every single mm. day every single mm -hmm. day we have policies that are changing for the better oh. and some for the worst so oh, i think right. definitely how ever many law students we have the more the merrier yes. why because again we are the next generation and i yes. feel that we are the ones that are going to make a change mm -hmm. in where we live Yes, you said the words right out of my mouth, Ricardo. Go yes. vote, go vote. Everybody go vote, go vote. It is so important. We are the next generation. We re that's really why I got into law in the first place, too, is because literally we create the law. With this next generation, we have the ability 
I mean, look at what's going on right now with the Black Lives Matter movement. COVID yeah. changed a lot of things mm -hmm. too. We have now LGBTQ community, rights for everybody. It's like Correct. we are coming back and we are back and better than ever. And it's like, we are the next generation. We are what's gonna shape the future of our country. And the law is what governs our, literally the United States of America. So, Girl, period. No, completely 100%. Agree. Yeah. Yes, no, definitely. And yeah. even if our best friend and sister, Kim Kardashian West Ooh! can study and become an attorney, right? then anybody else can. Oh, period. Okay? Because if she can do it, anyone can. Anyone, you know, she's anyone my can dedicate icon. themselves. Icon, yes. And that's the thing too, I, I like getting rid of the stigma, like, oh, you have to be mm -hmm. one thing and yeah. that's it for the rest of your life. Look at, like you said, Kim K, social media mogul, literally businesswoman. She has so many successful businesses and she's gonna be an attorney now, helping for pro bono cases and stuff like that for the criminal for justice sure. system. Love so that's that insane. Her. Yeah, so it's like, let's take that as experience and as influence for me it was a huge influence like you know what you can do anything you set your heart and your mind to you have discipline you got god baby you can do anything yeah. so period yes let's so, do it so excited you were here today i'm so excited that y'all have me on here i'm so excited for both of y'all this show is going to be amazing i'm really excited to see where it goes oh, for real person, yeah. girlfriend yes. how are how's your senior year going are you planning to spend oh, yeah. your last year here campaigning for your for your campaign? Yes, I mean, I'll campaign, yes, you already know. I'll campaign the rest of November and then December. We're probably gonna have elections or trying to aim for um, the week before finals. So that when we do come back for mm -hmm. the spring, we already have like the officers in place and everything. We are gonna be opening up new positions as well. So if you are interested in joining pre-law and you are interested in a position, reach out to me and we can get that squared away. Um, so we can get you guys in office too, because we need officers, we need people, we need this society to be everything that it is supposed to be, because this year is gonna be epic. I wholeheartedly believe that so i'm excited 100 yes. percent. have you thought of a campaign slogan Ooh, we're putting me on the spot right now ricardo let me see because i thought of one the oh. <laughs> he's like i already got you set up girl tell me the tea feel the burn oh. <laughs> you know what i That's mean come on, on. you're not it? wrong Literally perfect. I'm gonna put that on a billboard. Say less. Uh, yeah, I'm getting stickers. You I'm can getting stickers. collaborate with Mr. Sanders. Feel the burn. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, Bernie Sanders is my man. Oh my period. God, I love Bernie Sanders. <laughs> yes, Bernie. Period. Period. Bernie 2020. I'm still with that. One hundred percent, my friend. Yes, I'm so excited. Well, thank you so much for being here, Bernadette. Thank it is you always guys. a pleasure Aww. to have I love you. you. Oh, it's always a pleasure I don't to be here. Goodbye. I know. Either. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back for more. I'm sure. I will be a guest anytime, any day. Y'all already know. This is epic. This is amazing. I'm so excited for where this Buenos Dias is going to go. So let's do it. Yes. Well, with that said, everybody, this was our friend Bernadette. You can find her on her social medias down here in the description box below. Yes. And also follow the pre-law program and get more involved in what you can do as far as creating the legislative of tomorrow. Yes. So with yes. that said, this was our talk with Bernadette and we'll catch you guys in the next segment. Buenos dias amigos, it's your host Ricardo here. Are you interested in following any one of our featured guests on the show? If you are, just scroll down to the description box below and you will find all of the necessary links as well as their social media handles. Happy networking! Welcome back to Buenos Dias UIW. And for our next segment in the program, we're gonna go ahead and go to our co-producer, Jared, who's outside with a local food truck. Let's see what he has in store this time, right now. Texas, there's a place that I hold very dear to my heart. It's been in my life since I was born and has existed in my family for generations. It's a food truck that serves a timeless Texas cuisine. Barbecue. Come with me as I take a look inside my family's food truck. I'll be sharing food with a friend 
and sitting down with two of the three owners of my family's business to discuss barbecue and their history with it on this episode of Buenos Dias UIW's La Cocina. Hey, what's up UIW? This is Jared Luna with Buenos Dias UIW. Um, today, I'm visiting my family's food truck. My family has been in business for 30 years, um, but this food truck is brand new. It's been in business for about a year and a half. Um, I happen to work here and I want to share it with y'all. So why don't you come along with me? Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is my family. I just interrupted them. This is my cousin right here. Uh, we always, if you come here, you're always going to find a Luna hanging out at the food truck. What's your name? Jonathan. Wait, Luna. Yeah, I'm a Luna. I'm here all the time, honestly. Yeah. Is a, Lunas are loyal to the food truck. Um, can you get a, can you see them inside the food truck if you were to? Yeah, you can see them. Can you tell me your names? I know your names, but can you tell the, the audience? My name is Irma. Luna! I'm a Luna. I'm Julie. Luna. Yeah, they're, they're kind of shy. They've never been on camera before. They just recently started getting on camera like a few months ago. Um, but I'm going to head on in and we'll take a look at the food truck inside, see what they can make us to eat, and then we'll sit down and have a nice meal and a conversation with them. Okay guys, so before I go in here, I'm gonna put on my mask. Um, we always wear our masks inside of the food truck, uh, just for, of course, you know, everything that's going on. What's going on, guys? Hi, welcome. Oh shoot, hold on, let me close the door. Go ahead, John, you can, you can go in. see me okay <laughs> yeah so the food truck is really it's a lot more cramped on the inside than you might think when you're standing outside of it but uh this is how we work inside of here um and i'm forcing my family right now to make me some nachos um there they are these are bean and cheese nachos they call them super moon nachos they have a bean and cheese Pico de gallo on the side, jalapenos, and your choice of meat. This is John. This is my cameraman, John Gomez. Um, he's helping me out today. Because this is my family's food truck, I don't want to be biased about, you know, oh, it's so good. I like it so much. So I brought John along to eat the food. Um, John has been here only one other time. And that time he had to pay, but because he's helping me today, I'm letting Johnny for free. Does it taste good so far? It tastes really good. Yeah? <laughs> These are the best nachos I've had. Oh, wow. <laughs> he loves that. How <laughs> good. Is barbecue expensive? Because... Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barbecue is the new steak, and I'd say steak is the new um, caviar, <laughs> as far as price goes. We're probably the most reasonable out there. It's, yeah. it's really good food, so I mean, we're not it's worth it. like a chain, so it is a little more expensive than I would say fast food barbecue. Um, but it's what you expect when you go to chain a chain to get a burger and a family you know mom and pop to get a burger so we try to stay reasonable especially because we're on the south side of san antonio um, and we're on the lower income part of town but at the same time you know we're trying to stay afloat as well so we we're kind of in the middle we're not too high not too low but it's worth it but as far as quality, we're probably better than even the most expensive barbecue places out there. Uh. Right, John? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. This was Buenos Dias UIW. But before we sign off, today's episode would not be possible if it weren't for these beautiful people right here. <laughs> Let's give it up for our guest, Bernadette Salazar. Yeah. Our co-producer, Jared Luna. Woo! Our co-producer, Antonio Martinez. Antonio. Our director and the mastermind behind everything, Alyssa. And our head camera operator, Vanessa. Yeah. My best friend, my buddy, my pal, and my right hand, my co-host, Nathan. Aww. And let's give it up for our main host, Ricardo Rodriguez. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.